for all the people who go out there and say it for black people to get on their posts and respond i'm not engaging in the fact that you think that you're funny and you're not that's my best friend Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sia. If you don't know me, nice to meet you. Virtual handshake. Um, today's video is uh, a topic that is quite interesting to me. It's emotions about it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to see more content from me. I do post on Mondays and Saturdays. And also hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Um, without further ado, let's just get on with it. Um, so if you literally are alive in 2020, you know what TikTok is. I mean, everybody knows what TikTok is. And if you do not know what TikTok is, um, it is a app that is reminiscent of Vine. <laughs> I think it's up to 60 second videos and there are things from dancing to comedy to like point of view videos to like lip syncing videos. It used to be Musical.ly but um, I think another company like took it over and changed it to TikTok and it is um, something I spend most of my time on. And as with every form of like social media, there are celebrities per se that are associated with these social medias. So you have like TikTok star. People say like I'm TikTok famous. Not not me. Oh heck no. Well, lately there's been a lot of the TikTok celebrities have been um, exposed for saying things like the N word, and they have been like called out by the viewers um as racist or you know inconsiderate and a lot of times these are either hispanics or people who are just white um that is a big thing where like there's scandals with people who are famous on the app who have said the word previously you know not actively saying it like in a video just randomly but like you know like scandals are like somebody has found an old video of them saying the n-word and like it surfaces and they have to do a whole topology whatever we'll talk about that part later but for now we're going to talk about how that is becoming a trend but people are using that now as a way to get views and i'm not even joking it is working because people get likes and views even if all of the comments are going against what they're doing they still have hundreds and thousands of likes just because of the shock factor and it is so crazy to me because I can scroll on TikTok right now and the fifth video will be some white person saying the n-word and it'll have a bunch of likes but all the comments are like degrading it you know or like a bunch of argument and people are getting like famous or like you know like mini clout off of doing something that is so disrespectful in a way you know um, I feel like people now don't care what measures they have to take to become famous, um, or become, like, noticed, because a lot of these people don't even become famous, or, like, TikTok famous. A lot of these people just get one video that is somewhat viral, you know, and then that's it, and it's like, was that really worth, was that really worth it? And it'll be people who are, like, saying it and then like comment I didn't say it and then it starts a discussion you know and that really raises their engagement of that video and the, the engagement of the video goes up because they're starting a conversation about that or it'll be a person who says it or like girls it'll be like these two white girls like I'm not just peeling on white people because there are other like races that say it but a lot of times people get more upset when white people say it just because you know slavery um but um and they'll say it and in the comments they won't mention it you know and then that starts an argument like you know a conversation the engagement goes up on that too because it's like people are like really she's just gonna say it and she's not gonna say anything about you know and or there's the people who say it and then say yeah I said it and that really ticks people off because it's like, oh, you said it and you like you're proud, like you think that's cute. Like we don't do that over here, but yeah, you like the video to come back to it later, and now that person has likes, you know. And we're giving too many likes to people who are finding ways to just say the N word or just you know. And a lot of people are like, you guys are overreacting. You notice how it's only white people 
who are arguing like you know people in the comments will be like you notice how it's only white people who are mad and here's the thing about it you guys are turning it into people are turning this into a a thing you know when like a social media ploy or like you know and like it's it's way deeper than that and it's it makes almost makes us put ourselves out there like as black people when we address every single ignorant person who decides that that's what they want to do you know and um people now on tiktok which i say tiktok because i'm on that the most and that's where i see the most i don't ever go on instagram and see that like ever i don't think i've ever seen a video where that's a thing you know like snapchat is obviously a personal social media youtube i've never seen somebody well i'm sure it happens but like people don't just do that on tiktok it's a regular thing for people to say it and then get attention from it and it makes us put our you know it's it's hard for black people to try to address every ignorant person when we are have done it so much already and it's kind of like the white people like the like that's wrong that's wrong you don't see anything from black people because it's like it's like you know you're ignorant i know you're ignorant what is me saying this to you gonna do but boost the platform that you think you already have so personally i don't say anything on those videos because it's like what's the point i know why they're doing it i don't think that i can my comment can change them morally obviously they've been raised in a way where they think that that's okay to even do it as a joke or do it for a clout like if you think that that's okay for even video purposes you've been raised in a way where it makes that think makes you think that that's okay so me commenting wow you're really gonna say the n-word doesn't do anything you know what i'm saying but put my myself out there engaging in your foolishness and i'm not doing that i'm so sorry for all the people who go out there and say it for black people to get on their posts and respond i'm not engaging in the fact that you think that you're funny and you're not so those people really irk me and they really irritate me i'm not gonna lie now the people who are have said it in the past and have said um you know the n-word back in the day and have gotten exposed and apologized or whatever that's not right either but i feel a slightly different about that yes they said it said it and it's not a good thing like you should never say it if you first of all i know it's like don't say it if you're not black but i don't know i don't know i feel like some circumstances it's like black people say because that's just like the way we talk now but you know whatever but that's not the point um but i feel like it's a little different because they're not doing it for attention unless you obviously see them doing it for attention lots of these people get exposed um from a different source so like they didn't do it for the likes you know they did it because they're you know we're being stupid and you know um, i go by everybody makes mistakes and i don't necessarily think that makes people bad people because we all do stuff that could have been like exposed if we had a platform done people just don't care about what you do sherry because you don't have anybody who would care that you said the n-word you know but like little huddy or like mattia like have people who are watching them but i'm saying that we've all made mistakes and they just got exposed for theirs and theirs just happened to be a very bad mistake um but and you know when somebody continues to do something like let's say like they did it once and like okay that was years ago i'm sorry da, 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 da. like i'm not like that anymore you know take their word for it and move on but if they keep doing it you know that's different i feel like that's like it's a part of you you know imagine being in a place where you are a teenager and you made a stupid mistake which no matter how stupid it is it's really dumb to you know do that but we've all made mistakes you know what i'm saying and like imagine the whole world capitalizing on your mistake and never letting it go i feel like that's something that is like unfair because why are we the judges of what a person's character is because they made a mistake you know when somebody says that they have changed as a person i feel like us as you know whatever community it is has to allow that person to grow and not just keep holding them to the same standards as three years ago because i know that like i'm different than i was a couple years ago that real quick okay so little huddy little huddy i know people are gonna be like oh little huddy like he's a piece of trash okay um 
he posted a video of him at the pool you know his rich self at the pool and he's a really skinny guy you know and a lot of people were body shaming him and somebody made a post and was like why is he shaped like a noodle or something like that and then some of the comments were like we don't body shame you know and I was like yeah body shaming is like really bad you know whether you're bigger or smaller you know it's still not good and somebody said you guys are saying that we shouldn't body shame him but he's at the n-word okay and it's like here's the thing this fired me up because somebody said something that is incorrect does not mean that they are um that they should be subject to humiliation and bullying you know his mistake should not mean that he is he is put on the line for any kind of rude comments you know what I'm saying that's just not fair and what he's done is what being is what is being defended it's more the fact that he is a person too and that he makes mistakes too and that doesn't make it okay to go around saying bad things about him just because his mistakes were put on blast and yours weren't I feel like we should just respect one another and you know what's right and you know what's wrong obviously you shouldn't say the word um but we all make mistakes, like I said. I feel like, you know, let me know below what your opinions on a, are about it. Um, about, you know, the people who are doing it for clout and the people who did it in the past and have gotten called out. And if that allots um, bullying or, you know, body shaming, if you think that it makes it acceptable, just explain why. Because I would like to see different points of view. Um... I'm not like just strictly minded on what I think um if anybody explains it in a way where I can understand then I would love to hear like what you have to say about it um I'm not saying that it's okay because it's not but what I'm saying is you will be okay um the n-word is not a trend and her caption says just went and picked up my dad's hoodie from prison Dang, I missed that Nikwa. Only four hours left. And it has 34.1 thousand likes. Okay. I hope that this wasn't too, like, you know, controversial. I might have said something that, like, might offend somebody. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. I think that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Get this off. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, um, I'm just going to remove this later, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. Make sure you hit that like button if you liked the video and hit that subscribe button to see more content from me. And I will see you guys on Saturday. I love you. I mean, on Monday. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye.